absolutely delighted to to represent the uh, Netherlands cricket team again at uh, which is going to be my third World Cup. Really looking forward to it. I think uh, obviously a lot of good teams out there, and uh, I think what we'll also see is the associated teams. Um, I mean, competing better and better every World Cup. So I think very very exciting World Cup. With experience, you kind of you come to. Uh, well, I think you always want nerves going to the game. I think. Um, as I say, with experience, you kind of turn those ner that, that nervous energy into sort of um, uh, excitement and, you know, you, you take it into your attitude and it actually makes you more switched on, I suppose. So I suppose I think that's probably what I've, I've learned the most in sort of the last couple of years and playing in, uh, in front of these bigger crowds and playing these bigger games uh, where the pressure is probably a bit higher. But I think now I actually, I sort of, I look out, I want, I want that pressure, you know, I want those butterflies. Um, feelings in the stomach, I suppose. Um, you know, it's just really, you really, um, you take them into the game and you, you, you use them in, in your success as well, in your performance. Yeah, obviously adrenaline plays a, plays a big role when you, when you come to the big stages. Um, for the Dutch team, the Netherlands, we don't get a lot of opportunities to play in big leagues. So, the, the hype, for me, it actually really helps. It really helps getting out there and you know the crowds behind you, they're cheering you on, uh, something that the Netherlands are not used to. So uh, I, I think that has helped a lot, especially in the 2014 uh, World Cup where we were in Bangladesh and millions and millions of viewers. So I think that really helped. And obviously it helps when you've got a team that's, that's supporting you and backing you and uh, everyone knows your game plan and you don't have to be scared to go out there, you know, you don't fear any failure and uh, yeah, obviously very important to back yourself. So um, yeah, I think uh, I was blessed to have a, a very good 2014 World Cup and hopefully I can, can do it again this year. In, in, in a way, it was also, if I want to call it easy, it's probably not the right word. But yeah, when you go out there and you got to chase 190 in 14 overs, you literally got nothing to do. So um, you can go out there and, and take a few more risks. And if it doesn't come off, it doesn't come off. So um, that obviously helps. So And and that was the innings where it, it did come off. So it was absolutely fantastic. But uh, from a personal point of view, I think I think two games later against South Africa, I got a 50 of 20 odd balls. Um, and personally, you know, you're facing Dale Stain, you're facing Tatobe, Morkel, so you faced uh, some of the best in the world. And then to score 50 for me, that was, uh, to be honest, a little bit more special. Um, very sad that we lost that game by a mere five runs, a game that we should have won. Um, but for me, that innings probably stands out a little bit more than the Ireland one. But the Ireland one was just special to get us into that uh, second group phase. Yeah, so I, I started very, very, very young age uh, when I was four years old um, with my brother and my dad. My brother played first class cricket for 20 years. He actually just retired a couple of years ago uh, when he finished his career at Somerset. Um, but also went through the ranks of South Africa cricket. Uh, my journey was a little bit different. I actually went to the Netherlands to be an overseas professional for one year, and then I had a good season and went back the second year. And then the third year, the Netherlands coach actually asked me, would I be interested in playing for them? And wanting to play international cricket, that was for me a, a massive step. I think uh, in my heart, I would have always liked to play for South Africa. I just... Uh, didn't always get the opportunities that I would have liked, but it was also due to the fact that uh, where I was or where I come from, from Northerns, we were extremely strong, especially in the batting apartment. So when I wanted to come into the team, we had likes of Neil McKenzie, Jacques Rudolf, uh, my brother was still playing, Alvita Peterson was playing, uh, AB just got into the team. Also feel extremely blessed to be able to play in a third World Cup. Uh, something not a lot of people can say. So, yeah, grateful and really looking forward to it. Complicated, I suppose, compared to, to your usual um, professional cricketer. So, yeah, obviously grew up in, in New Zealand and Australia and um, did my studies in, in New Zealand where I finished with a degree and um, spent my first uh, couple of club seasons over in the UK. 
Um, and it wasn't until my second season, which I was in Scotland, um, the T20 qualifiers were on at the time, I think it's 2015, uh, where I met uh, the Dutch team who, um, through Joran Smit, actually invited me over to come and um, play a couple of a, uh, New Netherlands A's, A's games at, at the end of the season. Um, and it was about 12 months later that I finally made my debut for Netherlands um, against Zimbabwe under under Ryan Campbell. Campbell himself, um, they gave me a lot of opportunity. And, um, you know, it was through the Dutch that I was able to trial against Kent and um, get a contract there, which I've now been there for three years. So, um, you know, it's been, a, it's been a strange journey, I suppose, but I've, I've loved every minute of it. Um, I suppose I'm I'm 28 now, almost 29, so I'm not exactly I'm not I'm, I'm I might be sort of still young in my professional career, but not not as young in age. Although my teammate Darren Stevens um, shows that age is just a number, so um, you know I hope I can play for at least another 10 years um, and you know keep improving, like I say, and um, you know bring some more success for the Dutch side. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, very, very, very good signs. I think when I made my debut as well, we had a, we had probably a squad of only 12 guys that you could pick from. And now I think a lot of guys have actually been unlucky not to be in this 17-man squad. The strength of the squad has has yeah, enlarged massively. Um, and it's also helped. It's, you know, they, we, we're doing a lot of work with the youth. Uh, a lot of the players are doing extra coaching with youth, trying to help them. Um, so the structures, everything is getting a lot better in the Netherlands. And then qualifying to play in the Super League, I mean, it's, it's also, it gives you an opportunity as a country to to use some resources in order to, to grow the game even more at school level and club level. Um, so for Netherlands, yeah, it's, uh, it's, been a, it's been a journey. It's been a little bit up and down over the last 10 years. And I'm definitely thinking we, we're moving in the right direction. You know, finals day was 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 a massive day in the quarterfinal, to be honest. Um, just sort of playing in front of the big crowd. I mean, we had a pretty good campaign, um, finishing top of the group as Kent, and um, you know, we were all I think we were all pretty nervous for for finals day, but um, you know, it was great to get the two results and um, coming out coming out on top, which uh, was great preparation for myself personally going into the World Cup here. With the hundred was uh, was the most lucky was to you know rub shoulders with some of the some of the top players you know it was my first uh, experience part of a sort of franchise um, tournament so you know we had the likes of um, Carlos Brathwaite, uh, Josh Butler, Colin Munro, and Lockie Ferguson and our team as overseas players so um, you know to sort of get up close and personal with them kind of see how they they went about uh, their sort of games and things like that was probably the most exciting thing. Um, in terms of experience, yeah, I mean the crowds were 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 absolutely amazing during the hundred um, throughout. So, especially that opening game against the Ovals um, at the Oval, that was uh, probably the the biggest crowd, the, the most uh, exciting crowd I played in front of. And um, yeah, I'm not going to lie, I was pretty nervous um, going into the game. Um, but you know, as once you're out there, sort of the nerves settle and you get into your work. So um, you know, I'll obviously take that experience into the World Cup coming up. Uh, yeah, well, I suppose left arm seamers are, you know, they're, they're a little bit of a rare breed, I suppose. Um, they obviously um, have, have been successful, I, I think, in all, in all, in, all over the world in T20 cricket. Um, especially, you know, if I can swing the ball up front, I'll, uh, I'll be hoping to, you know, use those stats and, um, you know, hopefully going forward um, doing well with the left arm. So, you know, I, it's, it is one of my advantages, I suppose, um, as a left arm bowler. As I say, I'm the only one um, in the squad here. So, uh, you know, I look forward to hopefully taking the new ball if, uh, if selected. Sure.